So we're here with uh, VIXS. So who are you? Uh, I'm Indra Laksano. I'm a co-founder and a CTO of uh, VIXS Systems. So right here on, on your booth, uh, it says world's first 10-bit uh, 60p 4K HEBC. Is that what it is? Yes, that's what it is. Uh, uh, since CES, we've been uh, showing uh, our uh, SOC. Uh, this is a uh, SOC based on a uh, dual ARM Cortex A9. And uh, we are the first to decode uh, 4K P60 uh, 10 bit video. So, uh, what is 10 bit? What does that mean uh, with the video? Uh, for a long time, right, ever since the beginning of, uh, of a digital video, uh, people have decided to settle on 8 bit as the video format. Uh, that's because 8 bit is a power of 2, it's, an, it's basically a byte, right? And, uh, and it's been done that way for a long time. But uh, people in the video industry understand that uh, um, 8-bit has certain limitations. Right? In other words, uh, the main limitation is uh, an effect called contouring or bending. If you look at even your best uh, HD content available today, there, there will be instances where you can see areas of uh, very distinct bands of colors or uh, shades that are, that are not natural. Right? So, so it's more colors, it's more detail, what is it? It's more detail, so, if, so you can consider like this, when you have an uh, 8-bit uh, video uh, in, the, in the brightness and the color components, uh, you're capable of showing oh, about 16 million different shades. Right? But uh, when you move to 10-bit, uh, that moves a billion different colors and shades of, uh, of our video. Right? So you get a billion colors and shades and you get 60p, that's like HDMI 2.0, right? It's the full uh, uh, 4K support? Or what? Uh, well, yes. Well, 60p is important because uh, with sports content, you do need uh, higher uh, refresh rates per video. You need higher frame rates so you can actually see better continuity. So, uh, right here, you're showing actual real hardware? Yes. It's running? Yes. yes, yes. Uh, what we, what we have here is our uh, evaluation uh, SDK systems. So developers who are building uh, boxes uh, for next generation set-top boxes uh, would, uh, would uh, get one of these SDKs. Uh, we would uh, uh, ship our reference uh, development software in, to go along with it. So uh, there's a box, as a reference, is for uh, uh, box makers, right? Uh, yes. To start with this and then they will make their boxes. Box makers are system makers. Uh, today, uh, we've already, Panasonic has announced that uh, their 4K TVs are shipping with uh, our chip in them. Uh, we are the uh, media processor, in other words, that we decode the video and, uh, and the content for them uh, for the displays. Uh, so when they get compressed video, uh, we decode it for them. Uh, what is a main 10? What does that mean? Main 10 is the 10-bit video that uh, that allows you to talk about the 1 billion colors, right? You can think, you can conceptually view it like this. Uh, color in uh, compressed video uh, uh, has, um, uh, you know, what we call YUV, which is a different color space from RGB. Well, what you see is uh, typically just RGB uh, content, right? If you convert 8-bit uh, uh, YUV into 32-bit uh, RGB, right? which is 8 bits each of red, green, and blue, uh, you, and then you try to convert back to YUV, you find that you lose 25% of the colors. If you use 10 bits of uh, YUV and you convert to, uh, to uh, RGB, uh, which is true color, and you convert back, you actually get all of it back. In other words, uh, um, it's a more accurate representation of color, and that's why you, see, you don't see the bending effect that you're seeing with uh, normal video you see today. So to have 10-bit video and 60p uh, HEVC, you, you would need to, uh, th is it more bitrate also? Uh, you need the source to be all the way through uh, that quality. But that's what I, you talk there's about? A, there's, it's still the early days of HEVC research in terms of, uh, of quality of our video, but we're seeing some very exciting breakthroughs. Uh, there's there's uh, content being shown at the 10 megabits for 4K P60 that are essentially, you know, Almost flawless, sorry, you put it that way. There's very, very difficult content that's been encoded at below 20 megabits. Uh, that's uh, that's essentially, you know, you look at it and you can say, yeah, this is a, this is almost perfect video. So you can do below 20 megabits, 60p HEVC 4K 10 bit. Yes. Uh, papers have been uh, have been published on this. The surprising thing is that uh, when support uh, main 10 profile. Uh, for the same video quality, 10-bit video is actually lower bitrate than 8-bit video, which is uh, a, a huge surprise to everybody, but uh, uh, the results are pretty conclusive right now. All right, so uh, VIXS, so since when do you do SOCs? Uh, uh, we've, we were founded in 2001. Uh, we've been uh, very active in video codecs uh, 
uh, for you know that makes it more than 13 years right now. 13 years, and uh, since when ARM? Uh, we switched to ARM uh, roughly, uh, you know, well this is our first ARM chip, right? Uh, but uh, we started planning this chip about two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Alright, so uh, uh, what were you doing before? Was it MIPS or...? Uh, we were using MIPS before uh, and, and, uh, and for a lot of market reasons uh, we decided to switch to ARM. Is it also a support for software, stuff like that? Uh, it's, it's a combination of factors, right? Uh, a, a lot of it is actually customer driven. Alright, so uh, thanks for showing off this new uh, chip and how soon can we, uh, all the boxes are going to be with this, how soon? Well, um, we believe that uh, there will be, be more announcements coming. On the other hand, today Panasonic has announced. So if you, if you were to buy a, a Panasonic 4K TV in the second half this year, there's a very good chance that you'll find our chip built um, inside them. But does that mean your chip is the engine, the 4K engine in the TV, or is it just a the decoder code. chip? We There's the also code. an engine for the display, right? Is it a different chip? We are the uh, media processor in that. So in, our, in, in other words, uh, uh, content is coming in, we're decoding it um, and uh, making it into raw video for them to present. Alright, so thanks a lot for showing this.